Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Makes How To Videos where today we're going to go over how to make your very own drink dispenser. to yourself, hey Max, your drink dispenser looks pretty similar to some of the other how-to videos out there. Which you'd be correct, I did take some of the design ideas from other people's videos. However, by the end of this video, you'll see this drink dispenser is completely and utterly different than all the others. For example, as of April of 2018, this is the largest DIY drink dispenser video out there. And trust me, I've watched pretty much every single one. Now before we can start building, we need to do some research. Luckily for you, I've done about 90% of the work. This video contains a lot of information which I recommend watching about three or four times before you attempt the build. Now, you still need to do some of your own research. For example, at the end of this video, I will list some ideas which I wish I would have known before attempting this build that would have otherwise made it easier, cheaper, or more efficient. But I'm done rambling on and wasting your time. Let's go start the build. Now, before every build, make sure to take some time to draw out some blueprints. Here I am going to throw a copy of mine up on the screen. Feel free to pause the video or take a screenshot so you have something to reference. Once you have thought out and drawn your blueprints, it's time to start the build. I will be using half inch plywood to cut out the parts that form the outer body shell. Sand each side smooth. Then stain slash varnish the exposed sides. Once dried, it's time to start nailing those pieces together. Apply some wood glue to help bond the frame and nail each edge using one and a half to two inch finished nails. Now that we have an outer shell, let's move on to the containers. Here I have purchased six mainstays cereal dispensing containers. And what I like about these containers is that they are tall but also narrow. They're made of a durable plastic with measurements along the sides and each hold roughly about five to six liters. Before we can install these containers, we first need to cut out some dividers and cross beams to help hold them in place. I used some scrap wood for the dividers and a piece of 2 by one for the cross beams. Using a piece of quarter inch thick plywood, drill out six half inch diameter holes evenly spaced two and a half inches in from one side. Here I have a quarter inch to half inch inner diameter hose adapter. Thread the adapter through the hole, then thread a half inch to one inch PVC adapter to the other side. Once you know both adapters will fit, it's time to drill and cut the slits for the switches. Each slit should be one and three quarter inches long and a quarter inch wide, evenly spaced a half inch behind each hole. Make sure when you cut the holes to cut it at a slight inward angle. Once finished, file each hole smooth, then attach the hose mount to the frame. Now an optional feature on this drink dispenser is the spray effect from the nozzles. To create that effect, Use a thin sheet of plastic, which you can acquire from a two liter bottle, and cut out six one inch outer diameter circles. Once cut out, cut the circles into the shape of an X, 
and hot glue them inside of the half inch to one inch PVC adapter. Next, let's move on to making the switches. Using eighth inch thick acrylic, cut six strips that are one and a quarter inches wide and five inches long. Then cut six eighth inch thick metal rods to one and a half inches and use a file to smooth out the edges. Next, hot glue each rod a half inch from the top of each acrylic piece. To make the mounting hardware, cut out 12 1 inch by 2 inch rectangles and hot glue an 8 inch inner diameter tube to the inside top corner of each pair. Adjust each rectangle along both sides of the slit and place the acrylic into its slot. Hot glue both rectangles into position once properly aligned. Once aligned, grab your momentary switches. Position the switch in front of the acrylic piece. When pressing on the bottom half of the acrylic, the top should just be able to activate the switch. Now let's go back to the containers. With an eighth inch drill bit, drill a hole on the left side of each container. And with a quarter inch drill bit, drill a hole on the right side. Use a quarter inch dual male end hose connector and push it up through the bottom of the quarter inch hole. Next, grab some quarter inch inner diameter hose and cut six hoses to 16 inches in length. Attach another quarter inch dual male connector to one side of the hose. This will serve as a weight to hold the hose down. Last, connect the other side of the hose to the connector attached to the top of the container. Hot glue the serial flap shut. Next, grab an eighth inch one-way directional valve and a pack of soda bottle tops. Install the directional valve into the eighth inch hole. Then cut a hole into the top cover to install the soda bottle top. Once finished, hot glue the cover to the base of the container. Three, two, one, let's go. When it comes to making the back, this step is optional. I happen to have some scrap plexiglass sitting around and I thought it'd be a cool feature to install a window. This would allow me to see if any of the containers are running low without having to open the back. Towards the bottom left corner, cut out a hole to install a power cable plug. Then, file the hole smooth. Once the plug is installed, cut out another hole halfway up the same side. This is where we will mount a on and off switch. Wire the power switch to the outlet strip, which will be mounted on the back a few inches from the top. Last, attach two hinges to the left side and a hook latch to the right. For this drink dispenser, we will be using self-priming water pumps. Now, I've tried all different types of pumps, but these ended up working the best when dispensing carbonated drinks. Now that we have our pumps, it's time to hook them up to the switches. Since it's somewhat hard to film how everything has been wired together, I figured it'd be easier to draw you a wire diagram. On the left side, you can see how I wired in the outlet strip, and on the right, how each switch is wired to the pumps. When installing the top, I decided to place it onto some sliding tracks so I can open it if ever need be. Now it's time to decorate the outside. Start with 6 inch wide aluminum sheet metal and cut it to cover slash form both sides, nozzles, and bottom tray. Next, let's install the mirror. If you don't know how to cut glass, feel free to check out another one of my how-to videos. For this project, I used an 8 inch thick 11 and a half inch mirror and cut the glass panel to 26 inches in length. Yeah. 
To cover the edges of the drink dispenser, I used 3 quarter inch right angle aluminum trim. When cutting the trim, remember to cut each piece at a 45 degree angle. Once cut, file the edges smooth. Then, hot glue the trim to the edges of the drink dispenser. Now, let's move on to making label holders. Here I use quarter inch aluminum canal trim. Cut each piece of trim to three and a half inches in length. Then, cut a piece of eighth inch acrylic to the same size and hot glue each of the canal pieces to the acrylic square. Evenly space out the label holders onto the drink dispenser. Then, hot glue them in place. Next, I use quarter inch acrylic to create a clear drip tray to place under the nozzles. When creating a screen cover for the tray, I decided to use some steel mesh. Once the mesh was cut to the length that I needed, I hot glued it to some aluminum trim, then to the base of the drink dispenser. The last but coolest feature to this drink dispenser are the programmable LED lights. First, drill a small 8th inch hole into one of the sides of the drink dispenser. Then, press the sensor into the hole and glue the lower end to the inside wall. Next, drill a slot into the nozzle mount to string the lights through. Once through, cut the light strip to the length you need and mount the remote in front of the sensor. Now before I mention the changes I would do to improve this drink dispenser, give me a few seconds to tell you why I made this video. No, it's not a sponsored video, I paid for this build completely out of my own pocket. However, to help lessen the blow to my wallet, I was able to save quite a bit of money by salvaging a lot of the materials from discarded and thrown out items. For instance, here's a list of materials to show you how much money I was able to save. Hopefully, seeing this list will help encourage you to go out and find items that you can reuse and repurpose to create fun projects like this. So when it comes to the changes, I was able to fix most of my mistakes and correct them within the how-to video. However, there is still one item I wish I could change, and that would be the containers. If I had to start over, I would definitely pay the extra money to get some of those air sealed lid containers. Those would be easier to take out to fill and clean, plus you wouldn't have to add the drink cap or hot glue the container closed. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to build by far the coolest homemade drink dispenser. This will serve as a great centerpiece and will for sure catch everyone's eyes at all my parties. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. Also, feel free to share and subscribe to see more how-to videos. If this video helped you out, or you have an idea for another how-to video, please leave it in the comments below. But until next time, God bless and good luck.